Well, welcome finally to our graduation ceremony for the class of 2020. I'm Principal Bill Millens, and it's my honor to have you all here to celebrate these amazing young men and women. I want to say thank you to the Magos family for helping us have a physical ceremony here at the drive-in, the staff of a grand occasion for getting us set up on our stage arrangements tonight, and to Mr. Sean Watson, who is simultaneously helping to broadcast our ceremony across AM 1590 and FM 95.5 radio stations. So those uh, also can be seen, this also can be seen on Facebook live streaming on our CHS Coldwater High School Facebook page, so those in attendance can see and hear our wonderful celebration. At this time, we are going to take a moment to pay tribute to our country. Again, you are all in your vehicles. We appreciate that. We do appreciate you being honorable to the speakers as they are speaking, and also to this moment, as we uh, are restricted and stay in our vehicles. But I invite you to place your hand over your hearts and signal the flag being held here uh, by our athletic director, Mr. Todd Farmer, as we listen to our national anthem. Feel free to unroll those windows and join in. Thank you very much. Yes, let's use those horns as we will tonight to show our appreciation. Thank you. Today's ceremony, although quite different instruction or in structure, will allow us to honor and celebrate our graduates in the class of 2020. I appreciate everyone's patience and partnership in regards to the restrictions we are trying to enforce in the name of safety. Please remain in your vehicles throughout the ceremony and I will, give, I will be giving instructions to our graduates when it is time for them to approach the, the stage to be recognized. I would now like to introduce your class treasurer, Miss Deanna Cashin. Hello everyone. I would like to thank you all for being here today to celebrate the graduation of the class of 2020. My name is Deanna Cashin and I've been the class treasurer for the past four years and I'm honored to welcome you to a celebration and new beginnings. Before we get started, I want to let you all know that you have worked so hard to be here and I'm very proud of each and every one of you. We all have grown so much in the last four years. We even made it through a pandemic together. It seems like just yesterday I was back in middle school and it's so bizarre to think we're graduating from high school today. We went from zero to 100 real quick. Even though this is not how we had always pictured graduating, I'm grateful to see you all here today. At least our graduation will be remembered for generations to come. What other classes get to say they graduated during, during the coronavirus pandemic at a drive-in movie theater? As we continue, please remember this is not the end, but it is just the beginning of a new chapter. And I know we are all moving on to do bigger and better things. 
Congratulations, class of 2020. We made it. Thank you, Deanna. Now I'd like to have you welcome your class council representative, Ms. Esma Zamzami. Hello everyone and welcome again to the class of 2020's graduation. Although the ceremony is predominantly focused on the accomplishment of students, I would like to thank all of Coldwater's faculty and advisors. Coldwater Community Schools by far has some of the greatest and kindest K-12 staff, and it was clearly and greatly demonstrated as schools began to shut down in March due to COVID-19. Lunch ladies began serving food in the parking lot to students and families. Bus drivers took the time out of their day to place yard signs on the lawns of graduating seniors, and Mr. Milnes has been amazing at informing students and parents during the difficult times of virtual learning. Also, we have had the amazing teachers who have stuck by to teach their students and enforce the importance of learning. I can say with great certainty, I will never forget the vast amount of Google Meet sessions that I had to attend for AP Calculus and AP Government. And most importantly, thank you to our class advisor, Mrs. MacArthur. She has been an amazing class advisor over the past four years, and she has definitely made our time at Coldwater High special. Mrs. Mack, you not only supported our craziest homecoming ideas, but you have always been present to congratulate us on our greatest accomplishments. Therefore, please give a big round of applause or honk your horns to the great faculty and advisors of Coldwater Schools. Thank you, Esma. And next, please welcome your class secretary, Ms. Walla Ahmed. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. I am Walla Ahmed, the class council secretary for the class of 2020. Before I, before I get started, can we all please just give a big round of honks to all the parents who joined us here today. Thank you. Now that you may have guessed, this speech goes out to all the wonderful, caring parents who join us today celebrating an unforgettable moment in our lives and who I bet were a lot more excited for this day to come than any of us. We will never be able to repay all that you did and still do for us, and I don't think we could ever be able to. Thank you. No, a big massive thank you for being there for us every step of the way, whether it was big or small, you were always there for us. Not only were you there for us during our high school careers, you were there for us since the day we were born and still are to this day. You loved us, cherished us, and most importantly, you believed in us. And as quoted, behind every young child who believes in himself is a parent who believed first. It takes a huge, huge amount of strength to be a parent. And we know that without you parents, this day would not have been possible. Today is the end of a new beginning that starts with you parents being by our side. We hope to all make you proud one day and hopefully on that day you'll have joyful tears and a bright smile on your faces. You have raised strong, independent women and men who will one day make great changes in this crazy world. So once again, but this time, a big, fat, massive thank you and thank you to all the ladies and ladies who are here with us today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Typically at our senior convocation assembly, we take the time to recognize the top students in our curricular areas. We were not able to have that assembly this year, so we wanted to take just a moment to recognize those seniors here tonight. Our amazing music programs also present annual awards, which were presented virtually in May by Mrs. Doublestein and Mrs. Jewell. One student is being recognized by three different departments for their hard work and dedication. 
In mathematics, the department describes this student as an exceptional and has an elite math mind who is also extremely kind, considerate of the others, and always shares a caring smile. This student was also the most outstanding AP Calculus student this year. The science department is also recognizing this student based on their demonstrated academic excellence and critical thinking skills in their high school science career. This student has excelled in all of the honors and advanced placement science courses at CHS. In addition to this student's math and science skills, the English department has selected this student as one of two recipients of their academic award based on their dedication to, devel to developing their advanced, <laughs> their advanced skills in writing, analyzing, creating, and dialogue. Earning the Senior Academic Award, which was presented to the student at the first ceremony, we will bring him up from the Math, Science, and English departments, is David Roderick. Please give him a round of applause. One more honk for David. I do ask that you please respect the ceremony and allow us to continue. We obviously want to celebrate, but again, please respect the ceremony. The English department struggled to select just one senior this year as this additional student also demonstrated equally exceptional insight with literary analysis as well as superior writing skills over the years. The social studies department is also recognizing the student for their high academic achievement in all four AP history and government classes as well as their strong work ethic and ability to, ability to engage in powerful, well articulated while also mutually respectful argumentative dialogue. Earning the Senior Academic Award from the English and Social Studies departments is Esma Zamzami. One more big honk for Esma. The Art and Spanish departments also decided to recognize one senior who has excelled in both of these areas. In Art, this student was recognized not only as a hard worker, but someone who was not afraid to make mistakes, learn from them, and adjust their projects to reflect the new learning. This level of tenacity, determination, and their growth mindset is why this student chose to excel even during this time of the shutdown when working face-to-face -face was not possible. The Spanish teachers are also recognizing this senior amongst the rest and also mentioned their tenacity as well as their perseverance and the high standards that they hold for themselves. Earning the Senior Academic Award from the Art and Spanish Departments, please welcome Walla Ahmed. And one more big honk for Walla. There are also three levels of academic honors acknowledged by the three colors of honor cords that you will see our graduates wearing today. These students are also listed and recognized on the back of your program. Those students graduating with honors cum laude are wearing a bronze cord to signify that they graduated with a cumulative GPA of 3.0 to 3.39. Those graduating with high honors magna cum laude are wearing silver cords and are graduating with a cumulative GPA of 3.4 to 3.69. And finally, those graduating with our highest honors summa cum laude are wearing gold cords to signify that they are graduating with a cumulative GPA of 3.7 and higher. You'll also notice some seniors who are members of our National Honor Society based on their character, scholarship, leadership, and service. They will be wearing their NHS stoles and are marked as such in the program. And our final recognition of academic achievement you will notice are the graduating students who have earned and are wearing our Graduate Medal of Academic Recognition, signifying that they are a senior scholar. To be eligible for consideration, a student must maintain a cumulative GPA of 3.4 or higher and perform very well on the ACT and SAT college readiness assessments. Those students are also listed on the back of your program. And we would also like to recognize our seniors who are participating in the early college program here at Coldwater High School. These students will continue their education next year in a partnership with KCC as a 13th year but full-time college student. 
These students, you will notice, will be wearing their additional KCC Bruins cords and are also marked in your program. And finally, we'd like to, to thank several students who have decided at this time to make serving our country their next steps in their future education and careers. We greatly appreciate their dedication to protecting the values and liberties that we might often take for granted. So let's take a moment to honk and flash those lights for all of those students that are listed and here today. At our first ceremony today, we also honored our highest academic performing students of the class, our salutatorian and valedictorians. This year we have a salutatorian and two valedictorians. The salutatorian for the class of 2020 is David Roderick. David is the president of the CHS National Honor Society, a member of Interact, and has been involved in student council during his four years at CHS. He also participated in the MathWorks Modeling Challenge his junior and senior year, and has also dedicated his time to supporting the Branch County Coalition Against Domestic and Sexual Violence. He was awarded the opportunity and attended the National Academy of Future Physicians and Scientists, which is recognized as the largest and most impactful gathering of future medical leaders in the nation. He is also a part of the Early College Program, where he, where he will finish his prerequisites and then transfer to Western Michigan University and major in chemistry. David's future plans are to attend the University of Michigan to pursue a degree in ophthalmology or biochemistry. David is the son of Dave and Barb Roderick. Please welcome your salutatorian, Mr. David Roderick. Hello and good evening, everyone. For the past 12 years, we have all fought our hardest to get here, even more so in the past four years. Well, I think it is safe to say that no one expected all the unusual circumstances and setbacks we have endured this past year. It doesn't change the fact that we made it. We finally made it. All the nights we went without sleep, all the tears we shed, all the stress we went through, all the nightmares that still haunt us, and all the therapy we're gonna need after the trauma we've gone through have paid off. Even though we've taken different paths to get here, whether that be AP classes, the Career Center, extracurriculars, sports, early college, dual enrollment, or just regular classes at the high school, and even though we're taking different paths from here on out, depending on which college or university we're going to, whether we're going to the workforce, the military, whatever else everyone has plans, we're all right here, right now. We're all here together now. We're here to look back at everything we've experienced these past few years. All the friends we made and all the friends we grew apart from. All the fun times we had and all the broken hearts. All the laughs we've had and all the tears we've shed. All the triumphs and all the failures. Not only are we here to look back though, we're here to move forward. And while this may seem like it's the end, it's only the end of the chapter. It's time to turn the page and read on. And it's important th to remember that when it all comes down, it's not if, it's how they will remember you. So my question for all of you tonight is, how do you want to re be remembered? And what are you willing to do to be that person you want to become that, and that you want to be remembered as? I want you to spend every day working towards that person you want to be remembered as. Every decision you make, every choice you choose. I know all of you are wonderful people and have bright and prosperous futures ahead of you. So make the most out of it every single day. Thank you and congratulations class of 2020. As I stated, we have two valedictorians for the class of 2020. You've already heard from them both today as they also gave short speeches earlier as honored leaders of the class. Each one has a unique set of qualities and plans for their futures, but one thing they both share, they have dedicated their time and academic talents to accomplishing a perfect high school record by taking all of our honors courses, all 10 AP classes, and earning A's in every class. 
Our first valedictorian is Deanna Cashin. Deanna has been class council treasurer and a student council representative her four years at Coldwater High School. She is a member of the National Honor Society, Interact Club, and Youth in Government. She also spent two years as a member of the girls varsity tennis team. Deanna volunteers at CHS and in the Coldwater community, including the CHS blood drives and concession stands, as well as volunteer, uh, volunteering in several capacities for the Branch County Coalition Against Domestic and Sexual Violence and the Branch County Animal Shelter. This fall, she will attend the University of Michigan to pursue a career as an orthodontist. Deanna is the daughter of Kirk and Ankeen Cashin. Please welcome your first valedictorian for the class of 2020, Miss Deanna Cashin. Hello everyone again. Thank you for being here with us today. I first want to start off by thanking the most important people in my life, my mom and dad, my sister Karina, and my brother Kirk. I love you guys so much. You have pushed me to be the best version of myself and I couldn't have done this without you, without your constant love and motivation. Dad, you taught me how important service to my community is. Mom, you taught me that all I can do is my best and as long as I tried my best, that's all anyone can ask of me. Karina, you taught me to never give up. You persevere more than anyone else I know. And Kirk, you've reminded me to not be so serious. And sometimes you have to roll with the punches. Mom, I especially want to thank you for waking me up every morning the past 12 years by running into my room to frantically tell me that we're going to be late, even though we weren't really going to be late. But we both know you just wanted us to actually get up because if you didn't wake us up as frantically, we'd probably just fall back asleep and end up really being late. Now class of 2020, I wanna thank you also, especially those who I've been in class with most of my high school years. You guys are so competitive, but always in the most healthy and funny way. One thing I love most about you is we are always there for each other when someone asks for help. And we always have worked as a team whether that be helping each other with classwork or preparing for a test, or even trying to get our teachers to talk about coronavirus all hours so we didn't have to do anything. But my message for you today is to not take everything too seriously. As we go into this next chapter of our lives, there are so many unknowns. It will seem a little scary, but I want you all to make sure you enjoy the ride. It will see, I take up as many opportunities as you can, work hard, but also have fun. Remember that life is more than a paycheck or a good grade or even a medal that says you are valedictorian of your class. It's about the memories you make and the connections you gain along the way. Class of 2020, I leave you with this. Go out into this world and be kind and courageous. Take time to grow closer to your friends and family. Take the time to meet new friends and to take on new adventures. You can't take everything too seriously. Work hard, but also make great memories to look back on. Class of 2020, congratulations. We finally made it. Our second valedictorian is Esma Zamzami. Esma is a member of the class council and student council. If there is something going on at CHS, Esma is always involved. She is also a member of the National Honor Society and Interact Club. Esma will attend Trine University this fall and major in biology. She plans to continue her education and become a physician's assistant in the pediatric field. Esma is the daughter of Abdu Zamzami and Sadiqa Al Zamzami. Please welcome your other valedictorian for the class of 2020, Ms. Esma Zamzami. Principal Milnes, teachers, staff members, family, and friends, welcome again to the highly anticipated Class of 2020 graduation. The past four years have been a long journey leading to this exact day. My fellow graduates, we came into Coldwater High School as children, and now we are leaving as legal adults who are still highly dependent on their parents, just like children. 
My fellow graduates, today is an anchoring day of our lives, for we not only take the time to reflect on our journey and the progression through our high school career, but we recall our vivid experiences with our class during our time at Coldwater High. As a class, I can recall many of the memorable moments that we shared. We experienced our greatest times during assemblies, homecoming, and the various dress-up days that students and staff took part in. We participated in a wide array of extracurricular activities such as sports, club, and band. Altogether, we endured essays, labs, tests, last-minute Cornell notes, and receiving a very minimal amount of sleep. In March, we were informed about the danger of COVID-19, and we were excited to receive a break from school. We had anticipated that we would be out of school for two weeks, so it would be a great time to relax or even catch up on schoolwork. However, the worries about the growing pandemic altered and shifted our senior year into unexpected measures. We were forced to spend the rest of our school year learning online, and our classes were held over Google Meet sessions and Zoom meetings. We were forced to adapt and overcome the challenges of virtual learning, and I know for a fact that many students wish that they could step back into the classroom and experience school as a typical student. During quarantine and social distancing, there was a strong yearn for communication and human interaction. In an age where the world revolves around technology, I truly believe that the need for human interaction cannot be fulfilled through a computer or iPhone screen. My fellow graduates, although we endured a difficult circumstance during our senior year, I truly believe that this global pandemic forced individuals to be thankful and inspired by many of the good things that are brought along. Although being in quarantine was difficult, I began to realize all of the uplifting things that came along due to COVID-19. People were capable of spending quality time with their families. Students were able to sleep in on typical school days. People regained interest in their hobbies, and parents were excited to redo their wooden floors and paint their houses. And most importantly, I believe that we now truly appreciate toilet paper and having two gallons of milk because grocery stores would only buy one milk a day. My fellow graduates, I strongly believe that we are an inspiring class. Although there were days where we came to school exhausted and sleep deprived, we never settled for just being okay. We always strive for greatness in everything that was brought forth upon us. Being an honor and AP student all throughout my high school career, I was constantly surrounded by some of the most creative, gritty, and witty and brilliant minds. Our career choices vary greatly from medicine to law to education to joining a branch of the U.S. military. I have no doubt that many of my fellow classmates will be prosperous in their future endeavors. One statement that I can say with great certainty is that the future is in good hands with the class of 2020 and that we have proven our perseverance and commitment to success. While constructing this speech, I took the time to reflect on my journey all throughout my childhood and to this very day. My journey to becoming one of the valedictorians of my class was not easy nor truly expected. In 1997, my family immigrated into the U.S. to seek a better life. My parents had imagined a greater future for their children, for they left our homeland of Yemen and immigrated into the U.S. to give their children the opportunity to live the American dream. My parents came into this country with nothing except clothing and ambition. This ambition that my parents exuded is the main reason that I am standing here today. I am not ashamed that I come from humble beginnings, for it is the very reason that I am who I am. Ever since I was in elementary school, my parents enforced the importance of hard work. They told me that although I may not be the wealthiest or smartest individual, I should always be the hardest worker in the room. I took this advice to heart, and I've consistently put forth my best efforts, and I've never been afraid of taking on challenges. I learned the English language and became bilingual. I tolerated the criticism that I received from individuals, and I've even surpassed the expectations that I had for myself. If I had to give any advice to those who are pursuing their education, I would tell them to always put on a battle. I know there can be difficult days or moments where you feel like you are making no progression, but I can guarantee you that with a little bit of faith, a little bit of ambition, and a great deal of hard work, great things can be accomplished. There is one very special person in my life who is not only my hero, but the greatest man that I have ever met. That person is my father, Abdu Zamzami. Therefore, this part of my speech is dedicated to you, Dad. Dear Dad, the love, care, and compassion that you have shown me will never go unnoticed. Your lessons on life, respect, and integrity have shaped who I become as an individual. The sacrifices that you have made have greatly altered your life. However, they have opened many doors for me and exposed me to many opportunities to succeed. I know how difficult it was moving away from your homeland and immigrating into a new home and a new country and new culture. You left everything behind and came into this country to better the life of your family, wife, and children. I will forever appreciate and admire your noble qualities. Although you have struggled and lived a laborious life, I can assure you that the sacrifices that you have made will pay off in the success of your children. You have always supported my hopes and dreams. Although you never had the opportunity to attend a college or university, you have always motivated and reinforced my career goals. My educational goals have been strongly influenced by you, and you are the greatest reason for my success in school. 
At such a young and impressionable age, you taught me the importance of an education. You told me that individuals could strip me of everything, but my knowledge and schooling is something that no one can ever take away from me. You are the support system that everyone dreams of having, and I have been blessed with a parent that has motivated me to be a successful member of society. There is no way for me to repay you for the affection and extraordinary qualities that you have taught me. Without you, I would be misguided, undetermined, undetermined, and lacking a sense of motivation. I would hate to imagine life without you, for you are the greatest person that I have ever encountered. I honor your unselfishness, your achievements in the local community, and the powerful characteristics of pride and integrity that you have passed down to your children. Dad, thank you for being my hero, and I know that I don't say it enough, but I love you, Pops. Furthermore, one thing that is truly unique about Cold Water, Michigan, is the vast amount of Yemenis who have immigrated from overseas. Although these individuals came here to seek a better life, unfortunately, many do not speak or understand the English language. One of these people happened to be my mother, and I would like to thank her for her constant love, support, and affection. Therefore, please excuse me as I welcome my fellow Yemenis to the ceremony as I begin to speak in Arabic. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Marhaba bukum wa shukran ala hadhura haqqina tahadraj. Aliyom mish... أنا اليوم مش بس فرحانة لأننا تخرجتوا من المدرسة أنا فرحانة لأننا بنت عربية ويمنية طلعت الأولى فأنا مش بس أفتخر لأننا بنت عربية أنا كمان أفتخر لأننا بنت عبد الملك الزمزمي أنا قد شقرت أبي في اللغة الإنجليزية لكن أنا كمان لازم أشكر أمي يا أمي العزيزة والحنونة شكرا على كل الدعاية اللي دعيت لي في الصلاة لو ما دعوتك وإيمانك بالله أنا ما كنت رح أكون ناجحة في المدرسة فشكرا على حبوش وحنانش يا أمي كما تعلمون كانت يوم الجمعة الماضية عيد الأضحى لكن على الأسف مرض الكورونا منعنا من الاجتماع إلى صلاة العيد فأنا أشتي أقول لكل العرب الحاضرين عيدكم مبارك وكل عام وأنتم بألف خير وصحة وسلامة ألف مبروك إلى كل طالب وطالبة وشكرا مرة ثانية على حضوركم فالسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Thank you all for your patience I greatly appreciate all of your support and encouragement throughout this difficult time I strongly believe that Coldwater has a great community and I am honored that I was able to stand here today and present you with my speech Thank you all once again and I hope you enjoy the rest of the ceremony Let's give all three of those amazing students one more loud honk. It is now my pleasure to introduce your class vice president, Ms. Myrna Yaldo. Hello everyone, my name is Myrna Yeldo and I'm the Vice President of the Class of 2020. Over the past four years, the Coldwater community has made a lot of generous contributions to our class. That being said, I would like to take a moment on behalf of the Class of 2020 to say thank you to the community. Because of them, we were able to make events such as snowball, homecoming, and prom happen. Years from now, we will not remember much from high school. However, these are the times that we won't forget. I would also like to show appreciation to the businesses downtown who allowed us to paint on their windows every year for homecoming. It's such a small moment, however, it's something we always looked forward to, and honestly, it will be what we remember. I would just like to say thank you one last time to this community. Obviously, nothing has ended the way we wanted it to at all, but the community's love for the class of 2020 has not changed. It is times like these that really test people in a community, and you never failed us. Thank you. Thank you, Myrna. And next, I'm going to bring up our athletic director, Mr. Todd Farmer, to the stage to recognize the student who was presented the John Vance Award of Character and Achievement at our previous ceremony, Mr. Todd Farmer. Thank you, Mr. Mills. Good evening, everybody. As you said, I am Todd Farmer, Director of Athletics here at Coldwater Schools. I'm going to present the John Vance Award. John Vance was a 1975 graduate of Coldwater High School. As a student at CHS, he was involved in the newly formed commission, which is now our 
Student Council. He was also a member of the yearbook staff, the C Club, and played varsity football and varsity baseball. As a senior, he was also selected by the student body as homecoming king. He went to the University of Michigan where he played on the reserve baseball team in 1976. He represented the highest standards of character, leadership, and achievement to which all students should aspire. He was just not an athlete, nor an honor student, nor a student leader. He was all three of these. On May 25, 1982, John lost a year-long battle with cancer. In memory of John Vance, and in an effort to recognize the graduating senior who best represents the high standards John exemplifies, the John Vance Award was established in 1982. Every year, the faculty and staff select one senior to receive this honor, and his or her name will be added to the plaque that is on display in the gym lobby. In memory of John Vance, we the faculty and staff of Coldwater High School honor a student who has earned local, state, and national recognition for their athletic abilities, has performed exceptionally well academically, while also being recognized by the staff as representing the standards of excellence and character that John exemplified. This year's recipient is Dylan Taggart. Dylan received his award earlier at the first ceremony and could not make it to the second one due to a prior engagement. But let's one more round for Dylan Taggart, please. Keeping me clean. Now, please welcome our Coldwater Community School Superintendent, Mrs. Terry Whelan. Good evening. It is my pleasure to welcome family and friends to this important celebration for the Coldwater Senior Class of 2020. To our students, congratulations on the completion of your high school career. Today is a special day, for it culminates 13 years of school, and it is a rite of passage to launch you into a new journey in life. For your parents and teachers, it's a time to reminisce about how far you have come and express again their hopes and expectations for your future. Thinking about where you will go, what you will see, and what you will learn makes each of us, your parents, teachers, administrators, staff, and Board of Education members, very excited and proud. Every graduation is special, but I have to say I don't know how we could ever be prouder of a class than we are of all of you. You have persevered in times that no one could have ever imagined. On March 13th, we said goodbye to you, believing that we would all be back together in a few weeks. Here we are almost five months later, and we still can't all be together. I am amazed how you have responded during these trying times. Although disappointed, you have continued to be an inspiration to all of us as we have told you over and over, sorry, no, we can't do that. As we have gone through these tough challenges together, we have learned so much more about ourselves and what are the things we value in our life. Thank you for being the young adults that you are and teaching us lessons about being resilient, courageous, confident, and being committed to being a 2020 graduate of Coldwater Community Schools. Thank you. At this time, I would like to take a minute to acknowledge the members of the Coldwater Board of Education. The Board of Education members work very hard to provide you the best programs possible for all of our students. 
Would you please join me in showing your appreciation um, after I have said all of their names? Dr. Ed Lake, President. Nick Kraminski, Vice President. Claire Dean, Secretary. Jeff Holbrook, Treasurer. Dr. Kate Frederick, Trustee. Dr. Ron Lanford, Trustee. And Steve Rutz, Tran Trustee. Please join me in uh, giving them a, a round of honks. So this is the moment that we wait for when we're going to award um, you your diplomas. So on behalf of the faculty and administration of Coldwater High School, I present these members of the class of 2020 to the Board of Education, and in doing so, verify that each one of them has met the requirements for the diploma or certificate they have received. And each is entitled to all the rights privileges and responsibilities at pertaining thereto. Thank you. Thank you and next we welcome our school board president Dr. Edward Lake. I needed my squirt first. I'd like to quote a turn of the century agricultural scientist and inventor. His name was George Washington Carver. And I quote, how far you go in life depends on you being tender with the young, compassionate with the aged, with the sympathetic striving and tolerant of the weak and the strong because someday you will have been all of these. It is now my honor to announce by the authority of the state of Michigan vested in the Board of Education and by those delegated to me as president I hereby confer on these members of the class of 2020 have earned and been awarded the appropriate diplomas and certificates of Coldwater High School. Congratulations to the class of 2020. I'd like to take just a moment to say a few thank yous uh, from today. Thank you to our student speakers who have done an amazing job of representing themselves and the class of 2020 so well today. Thank you to our athletic director, Mr. Farmer, and our assistant principal, Mrs. Searles, for all of their help throughout the year. We have a great partnership in regards to our academic and athletic opportunities and programs here at the schools. I want to also thank the wonderful teaching staff and counseling staff of Coldwater High School and the entire K-12 staff of our school system. Your support of these students over their many years in our school system has helped them grow and learn, which has helped them achieve this wonderful accomplishment we are here to celebrate today. In particular, I want to thank the class advisor of the class of 2020, Mrs. MacArthur. It's a lot of extra time and heart that gets put into these students. I'd also like to recognize four high school staff members who are retiring after serving Coldwater High School, our students, our families, and our community. Each one of them went above and beyond throughout the years to help support and challenge the students both in and out of the classroom. Retiring in June were longtime biology teacher Mrs. Margot Boyd and English language learner instructor Mr. Elsa Dig Hogg. Also retiring shortly after the start of this fall's school year will be math teacher Mrs. Samantha Wendorf and counselor Mr. Paul Nestalli. Please let's give these four educators a loud honk of gratitude. Yeah. 
I'd like to thank Superintendent Mrs. Whelan, Assistant Superintendent Amanda Miller, Board President Dr. Lake, and the rest of our school board who helped guide the vision and direction of our school district. And finally, I'd like to thank all of you in attendance here today. This has definitely been a challenging time, and by working together, we have all persevered. Now students, I'll be asking you to exit your cars by rows that you are in. Hence, if you are in the first row, and I say first row, come up, that will be your cue. When you approach the stage, please notice that we have a gate system set up here. And you'll also notice along the ground there are some orange markers to help you keep your social distancing. There may be more of you than there are orange marks, so just please try to stay about two arm lengths away from each other. You will need to wear your mask while you're out of your car, but you can take it off when you pause for your graduation photo. So when it's your time to be recognized, you're gonna hand me your name card, and I will announce you for you to be able to grab your diploma cover, walk on the stage. You'll notice a large X here on the stage for you to stand. Mr. Stan Clayton from Classic Portraits will take your official graduation photo. You can take off your mask for that photo. After that time, you'll be able to exit the stage off of the other side and then please go back to your vehicles. I do want to remind everybody, please wait until the end of the full ceremony to exit. We had an issue in the last ceremony and we don't want anyone to get hurt. So again, please, please do not exit until the end of our ceremony. At this time, it is my pleasure to be able to introduce to you the members of the graduating class of 2020 who are here present with us tonight. So, students who are in the first row of cars, if you would please exit your vehicles, come on up to the stage, come through the gate system, hand me your name cards, and let's celebrate these kids. Again, feel free to honk. Please do stay till the end of the ceremony as we announce our graduating seniors. Well, you might want to wait till I say their name. <laughs> David Roderick. Now you can honk. Myrna Yaldo. Melissa Vozar. Esma Zamzami. Hunter St. Clair. Macy Miller. Caitlin Myers. Madison Morgan. Aaron Snowden. Jordan Roberts. Matthew McCumber. Caden Sunday. Cassandra Pacorni. Brianna Smith. Thank you. 
Raul Villa. Lindsay Monks. Taylor Wilbur. Jasmine Rice. Jaden Walbeck. Aspen Yearling. Abigail Little. Would the graduates in the second row of cars please now exit your vehicles and come get in line behind those that are ple presently there. Again, students in the second row, please come on up to have your name announced. Heidi Murphy on the stage. Nathan Parsons. Erica Parkinson. Caitlin Parkinson. Ahmed Salem. Mubarak Saeed. Thank you. Shakri Sala. Thank you. Dominic Stewart. Nicholas Schoenauer. Annalisa Watson. Hala Omar. Khadija Nasser. Again, I do just remind, and we appreciate everyone staying to the end of our ceremony for the rest of our students. Rand Warnell Jr. Daisy Martinez. Alexander Rogers. Thank you. Thank you. Ahmed Shabane. Thank you. Trey Stewart. Yes. Nayeli Sacido. Thank you. Don't forget your book. Kalani Phillip.
Jason Martinez Robles. Kaylee Alcott. Thank you. Sammy Mohammed. Thank you. Brayden Vreeland. Brandon Mobley. Would those students in the third row please exit your vehicles and please get in line behind our graduates. Again, students in the third row of cars, please come up for your name. Gabriel Mongan. Chase Thomas. Catherine Young. Cody Miller. Colin Stevens. Don't forget your book. Ethan Massey. Ashlyn, Ashlyn Walp. Ellery Madden. Allison Odell. Jacob Taylor. Rebecca Robison. Thank you. Kobe Stewart. I'd rather not read a name over the honking, so I'll patiently wait. Thank you. Lakin Skidmore. Carter Otto. Jacob Roberts. Zeke Nowicki. Morgan Rakowski. Emma Spore.
Allison McCann. Kalud Musa. Zaina Ahmed. If there are any other graduates who have not come forward to be recognized at this time, again, any other graduates who have not already come forward, please come up and get in line to be recognized at our ceremony. Angel Miracle. Nabil Omar. Salah Mohammed. How are you? Ian Nowicki. <clears throat> Noah Waterbury. Skidleric. Joshua Walker. Abigail Steele. Again, we do appreciate, we do ask for people to wait till the end of the ceremony to leave. Like I said, we kind of had an issue in our first ceremony. Please respect the ceremony and those other graduates. We are almost done, but we do ask you to please remain here for the ceremony and everybody's safety. Yasmin Musa. <laughs> Stephanie Ramos. Bryn Nidzwicki. At this time, I'll also read and recognize the names of the students who, for whatever reason, were not able to join us here tonight to honor them. Caitlin Langworthy, Xavier Lemp, Malena Lewis, Lucas Martinez, Trenton Luck, Elka Mackin, Quentin Mason, Tyler Matthews, Carlos De Rios, Emma Moore, Musa Omar, Russell Pelfrey, Cody Pike, Caleb Rasmussen, Danielle Rice, Ty Sturgeon, Jason Sager, Austin Santour, Abby Thatcher, Zachary Tong, Efren Valle Arizona, Brooke Van Blarkham, Samuel Westgate, Caleb Wilbur, and Samantha Young. Again, we are almost done with our ceremony, but let's give all of our graduates a loud honk. Before I speak to the graduates for just a moment today, I would like to take a moment of silence for those of you who may have family members and friends who have passed and were not able to celebrate this day with us in person, but we know that they are here in spirit and in our hearts. So let's take just a moment of silence, please, for you all to remember in your own way those in your families or friends who have passed and are watching over us here today. Thank you. Believe it or not, as you get older, you'll most likely only remember a few instances or clear memories from your high school years. One of those memories will definitely be this past year and how we had to shut down. 
This is definitely a time in history of the world that will be documented in future history books, as well as shared through personal stories. I hope you always remember that a struggle is put out in front of you so that you can, you can become stronger. And these last few months have strengthened all of your determination to support one another, and one another, our dependence on the good within each other, and our dedication to caring for one another. Like the plants we see around us every day, you were not able to control your environment. But like those plants, you were able to adapt and grow. We have learned so many new ways of doing things, learning together and socializing when being physically together was not an option. We were able to adapt and grow. No matter what is placed in your way, it is not an obstacle, it is an opportunity. I hope you always find a way to view your challenges and your failures as opportunities to adapt and grow just as you have done in these last most recent times. Never forget how we've learned to appreciate our time with our families, time with our friends, and the gratefulness we have for so many people that place their lives at risk every day to help and care for the ones we love. Never forget that people are stronger together, yet an individual can still help inspire others to take action. And never forget, even though we grow further apart, you're always close to our hearts and minds and always a part of the cardinal spirit of the Coldwater community and Coldwater High School. Remember to be kind, remember the phrase go cards, and remember to always adapt and grow. Parents, I certainly thank you so much for sharing your children with us all of these years. We've worked very hard together, and working together, we've helped them to accomplish this great goal today. Graduates in your vehicles, if your tassels are still on the right side, you can turn them over to the left to signify transferring and moving over to your next phase of life. So at this time, let's congratulate our seniors one more time with those horns. We do have one final guest speaker. One of the leaders of the class will speak to you after she is done. That is time that we will be uh, please carefully exiting. Make sure that you watch out for the tubes that are in front of your cars so that you don't run those over. So at this time, to finalize our ceremony for this year, I present to you the president of the class of 2020, Miss Melissa Vozar. I am Melissa Vozar, the president of the class of 2020. Before I close this ceremony, I would like to thank those who were able to attend this evening, those listening on the radio, or those joining us through our live stream. I understand our ceremony this year is quite unique, so thank you for being adaptable. Class of 2020, congratulations. We did it. Who would have expected these four years to end the way they did? We were faced with unexpected obstacles, but I am proud of each and every one of you. Over the course of these four years, we have created an abundance of memories together. From stressful class dances, to conquering the SAT, to rained out homecoming, to graduating high school at a drive-in movie theater, we've done it all as the class of 2020. From star athletes, to amazing musicians, artists, actors, and more, to the brightest minds I know, I have no doubt that you will all be able to find your place within this vast world. I encourage you to take risks, Get out of your comfort zone and take time to appreciate everything that surrounds you. Life is quick, so get out. Be spontaneous, laugh, and cherish every moment you can. I know we are all eager to get out of here, but before we go, I would like to thank each and every one of you for being a part of the class of 2020. Congratulations, graduates. Thank you everyone for taking time to come to our ceremony tonight for your patience. Stay safe, stay connected, go cards, and hey look ma, I made it. Congratulations, class of 2020. Please exit carefully.